bad. So how do you guys feel about uh, your first day? Uh, pretty good, yeah. uh, pretty tired, but you know, it's been a good journey and uh, we're gonna grind, we're gonna do well. It was a really long trip here, but <laughs> I'm glad we finally made it and I'm excited to see what our school looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's What is your mission of EWB? So what is my mission of EWB? I believe that Engineers Without Borders is a way for students and professionals to provide developing communities all around the world the basic human needs that they need to live a sustainable life. So Guatemala was brought to our attention via the national website. Uh, on the national website, they post a bunch of projects where communities themselves reach out. With those community projects uh, on that website, any chapter throughout the nation is allowed to re uh, reach out to the community and see what they need and assess the situation. So this was actually a very long process. It lasted about two and a half years and began as a senior design project in 2016. The senior design team completed the majority of the designs and then once they graduated, the rest of the organization took on the project and we worked with our advisors as well as the alumni to complete all of the designs to the standards of not only Engineers Without Borders but also the community so that we can make sure we're giving them what they wanted and what they need. We did a assessment trip with the organization where those senior design members went over to Guatemala and they decided to assess it, the area, the community themselves, and make sure that the credibility was there. And then once that was done, and they took measurements, and they did all the visual um, confirmations and visual data gathering, they came back to the States and began the senior design project for their civil senior design. And once the project itself was completed, then it was just fundraising and uh, reassessing it with national headquarters and professional engineers to make sure that it was uh, rock solid. Last December of 2018, the team of EWB, three of us, actually got over to see the schoolhouse being built and actually take part in the construction of the schoolhouse. So while we are in Guatemala, we were able to meet with the community members as well as help with construction on the project. Um, and when we met with the community members, they were all so sweet and so nice. Um, even the children came out to greet us who would be going to school in the schoolhouse that we built. And right down the road from the house that we were staying at, there was actually a family of about six children. And every night that we were there, they would come and play games with us and teach us simple Guatemalan games and little lullabies. It was great to see the community there, uh, see the impact we were having directly rather than um, just hearing about it from afar because sometimes it's, it's hard to put um, names and faces on the people you're actually impacting. But when you see that actually happen in person, like it, it has a, a different type of impact on you. In working with this past project, I've been able to get experience working on an actual engineering project. And while I'm a mechanical engineering student, I was able to work on a civil engineering project, which broadened my scope in other disciplines and gave me experience where I probably would not have gotten it before. Are you happy with your crew, Taylor? Yeah, I think we're doing great work. I'm really proud of us. Sweet. Congratulations. The people over there were just so friendly and they were very um, welcoming to us. They really wanted to just kind of share their culture with us as a, as a group and just share the fact that, uh, you know, they allowed us to meet their children and their families and, uh, you know, stay in one of their own houses. I think that was just something that was really cool. So overall, the project, just traveling internationally and just seeing how the community over there was to us was, uh, I guess in summary, just eye-opening and uh, really changed a big part of how I view the world. Love my family at uh, La Cantun Dos. Um, everyone who helped us uh, coordinate this and 
all the people who helped with the construction of the schoolhouse. It's been a great experience. Thank you all so much.